sub knife people back again with more of these knives quick look at this microtech utx 85 and this bounty hunter theme with some mandalorian graphics yeah cool knife tanto blade it's really sweet but enough of that let's do what we're here for more unboxings uh more knife stuff more knife content uh so let's get into it um real quick i know it's memorial day weekend so quick shout out to all the soldiers active inactive you know uh not with us anymore so uh big shout out I got some friends and family in the service so a uh, big shout out to them let's not forget them and that's it um oh quick shout out to the smoky mountain knife works they did throw a sticker in last week's knife but i'm not too sure about this kind of beta bigfoot yeah might have to change that up you know don't want to catch a bigfoot in the woods doing that <laughs> anyways this is what we're here for some more unboxings this one comes from dlt trading uh i said we're going to stick on the fixed blade theme for a little bit uh next week i'll probably go back to normal and that's it so this comes from dlt thank you guys for tuning in new subs old subs got this one 419 so about a month there we go i'm going to use this uh microtech there we go nice a little bit more wow so thank you microtech put that out there for some eye candy Let's see what we got sure you guys probably know the way i get down some paperwork here but let me see yeah there's some stickers in there so again thanks to dlt really appreciate when companies send their stickers here's what we got a case and that I'm not too sure what i got but let's put it out there where's that sticker kind of fold it up a little bit here so thanks to dlt let's see if we can put them up here somewhere that you guys know where I get stuff from. And here we go. Let's start off with this case. Uh, forgot what this was all about. I'm sure I just threw it in. Here we go. What's this nice some, some little case info. Uh huh. I remember. So yeah, I got this little. What was it called? Even know the name of it. Uh, some more stuff in here. There it is. So the case camo synthetic caliber lockback. That's what it is. Just here to the side. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look. Kind of a little plastic handle there. Camo. That's your lockback. I think I got this to throw into my pouch that I got. So it's got a little nail nick. Ooh, look at that. Not bad. Cool little, maybe six inch knife. Not bad, not bad. So really cool. Get a nice little grip on there. Nice little clip point. Pretty sweet. Nice and lightweight. Nice and thin. It even has like some flare out right there. Yeah, not bad. Actually, it's pretty cool. So I'm glad I got this. I'll put the description in the description, probably the price and where to find it. So yeah, pretty cool. Nice little lock back. Wow, look at that. It's centered. Aha, uh -huh, that's great. Love it. I'll put that there here for a second. Let's move stuff around. Have the case out here. Put the case here. Bam. <clears throat> and then we got the LT. This one is a heavy Patriot A2 and flat green polished. Polished. I think they're supposed to send me a mat. Uh huh. Well, we'll find out. As always, you guys know these uh, LT right sheaths come with the nice 
little sheath from JRE Industries. So really cool, get that. And here's a knife, nice and wrapped up. Nice little protection there. Here we go. So we got, this is the LT Wright Patriot. So it is polished, uh, green micarta. Super polished. Got some brass scale, uh, brass pins in there. Got the pout house. And got that like spear point. Got the uh, 90 degree spine up here for uh, ferro rods. Um, yeah, pretty sweet. No liners on this one. You can tell. And super polished. The only difference with this one uh, was this is a super thick stock. Um, you compare it to is a standard sized Patriot. See there? It was literally almost double the size. I'm guessing probably like 0 0.16, 0 0.18. Uh, I have another one here. Uh, heavy meaning just thicker, thicker stock. Yeah, see this is one of the thicker stocks that I had here. And this one, which is uh, um, Frontier First. And so this is even thicker, thicker than that. Check that out. So yeah, a lot thicker, a lot heavier literally probably about another ounce heavier so we'll check that out in a minute too but yeah check out that green micarta nice and polished so pretty cool one of my favorite little mini fixed blades uh on the smaller end this one's an a2 steel that's what the a is for so yeah we'll put it down here for a minute Let's show you what it's all about put this here and get my scale out. Get away this bad boy. Let's check this guy out. So there we go. Nice quick look. Nice. So yeah, really sweet. Kind of that nice green in the hand really nice put it down here we'll measure it up let's get this guy measured there we go so again we'll put him here let's get the weight first see how much this guy weighs so i'll give you guys a little rundown on the patriots i'll go through a few that i have here some more comparisons kind of entertain you or hold you hostage for a little bit we got 3.4 ounces alone with the sheath looking about another 4.6 another ounce heavier so again what was it three point three point four ounces and this was the heavy so again this is a thick stock uh, standard um, Frontier weighs about 2.8 ounces. I have one more out here. Let's weigh this one. So yeah, so you're looking at about a good almost ounce heavier. So yeah, we'll go through these right now in a minute. And so that's the weight, three point. So a little bit hefty of a knife. Uh, again, this is the heavy edition, H-E-V-I, for obvious reasons, just a heftier blade. Maybe more for batoning use or, you know, if you had to pry with it somehow. Uh, so here we go. We'll get this on the board, measure it up.
Okay, so we're looking at about a little under six inches. You're looking at the cutting blade two and a half, three inches with that choil, or just goes along with the blade right there. So two and a half cutting, nice spear point flat grind all the way up. Really nice. Dig that sticker. And so let's do some more comparisons with it. Uh, let's get a couple more Patriots up here. This one in the middle. So you guys have a, this one's in white G10. These are like my favorite little fixed blades just because you get a variety of material handles, steels. This one's an A2 also with white G10 and this like kind of mountain pattern, which means like grooves in it. I just showed you this one. This is also G10 matte. This one has uh, aluminum pins. Um, same thing. Uh, everything's basic, the same flattened 90 degree spine, flat ground. This one's in 3V steel, which is the X. And again, matte finish on the blade, I mean on the scales. So we'll show you those. Let's see here. So those are three different color handles. Pretty dope. I'll show you a couple more and then I'll show you a couple different uh, varieties that LT Wright makes. Put this one here. Sorry for those that are being held hostage, but uh, you know, you gotta show you, gotta show you. Like that you guys know, or those that are looking, you kinda know what you're looking at and what you're gonna get. So again, flat ground. This one's in blue maple. This one has black liners. Again, this one, the handle is a little thinner. So you can check it out there, good comparison. So you can definitely see the almost twice the thickness. Liners, no liners. All right. I think you guys get it, get what I'm trying to say. Uh, this one here is an ironwood. Again, just the smooth little texture, the feel of the wood, the natural materials they use, it just feels really good in hand. A little rounded butt there, really comes in handy, fits in, in the hand. And there's that choil, you just run right up on it. Again, this one also has black liners and nice little eyeball there, nice little grain. So really sweet, I mean, I really dig them. Nice spear point. Uh, let's put them up here. Here we go, some more Patriots. Those are wood scale handles and that micarta. Really wish that was matte though. I kind of like the matte finish a little better. I mean, except you got the wood, the wood looks good, nice and polished. Get those nice different little See the texture, chatoyance of the wood. Really, really cool. Really, really cool. Let's move this here for a second. Right here. Let me move this to the side here. Let's put this down here better. Moves around less. These are kind of rounded handles. So these are the wood ones, put those away. And then I got some more micarta for you. Check this out. This is a burlap micarta. Again, flat ground. Nice depth of that burlap micarta. Again, 3V steel, not as thick. Again, see the difference, yeah. Definitely a lot heftier at the tip. See here, yeah, see that, big difference. There we go, it's a little better here. And then I got this other micarta, which is Python micarta, flat ground, no liners, 
a little thicker in the handles, but those are the little variances that you'll get when you get these. Check these out. Nice. You can tell the quality of my car to big time. That's burlap, just canvas, and probably canvas my car also. Nice. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Those are like my favorites. So yeah, when I got into uh, my fixed blades, these were the, these were still my favorite. Yeah, just love them. Love these things. What else? Uh, so now I'll show you a couple other models, uh, just different. Um, LT Wright makes them, but just, you know, if you're in that small fixed blade uh, and you like them, uh, they have this one, which is a, a trapper. I think it's called the Little tra little Frontier tra or Frontier Trapper. And this one's an AEBL steel, but this one, again, is just saber ground up to here. So, a little different. This one's got polished scales also. Again, I kind of like the more rough matte finish so that's the trapper and here's another one in burlap micarta this is called the little muck obviously the nest muck blade there a little more upswept still about the same weight actually it's kind of weight just so you have an idea real quick so this one's 2.9 ounces, so right along that three ounce. Uh, this one is 2.7. So right along that 2.6, 2. Point something, up to three for these small LT rights. Again, this is a, the muck, little muck. People are going wild. Here we go. It's kind of shifting, but let's see if we can check it out. Yeah, so you can see there. So again, all kind of in that average size. Six to six and a half inches there. Really cool. And the trapper. Um, pretty cool. Uh, let's do some other brands. Uh, Let's put it up against some SEs. This is the SE Azula. And this is the SE Candy Roo. Another smaller SE. Check these out. So you guys have a good reference. A little bit of eye candy. Yeah. For those that don't like it, sorry, but that's kind of the, that's what I like to do, look at knives. Um, again, they have another Frontier Frontier First. This is LT Wright. They come in different varieties also. Uh, I'll show you right now. I have this one in, it's kind of oatmeal burlap. So it's all messed up. It was one of my first ones. I'll show you those, I forgot to show you those. So yeah, so they have a few different small fixed blades and different uh, different blade shapes. So you kind of have to just take your pick, what you like. Um, and I'll show you, let's see, I got two other ones. An LT right, these are a little bit bigger, kind of step up. Maybe the medium flick, uh, fixed blade range. This one's the uh, Great Plainsman in a red and black. I think this is canvas micarta also and D2 steel with a harpoon blade. A little bit bigger in hand. Got that nice little scoop. Again, you still got that 90 degree spine. And I think you guys have seen this one also, the pronghorn with the Scandi ground and kind of that groove G10. Really sweet, O2 steel, O1 steel, sorry. And let's show you the little size difference there. Yeah, pretty nice. So LT Wright makes a lot of different varieties, a lot of different scales. Really dig that. And we'll put it up also against the Guardian 3 Bradford. 
It's another average size EDC. And what else do I got? And a little bit bigger, but this is a Fiddleback Forge Workman with that spalted Scandi blade there and canvas micarta. So kind of a little step up in size. There you go. That one's in G10 natural, flat ground, full flat. Yeah. So yeah, I think I'm running out of knives to show you guys, but uh, I think you guys get the picture. Uh, you can carry your EDC fixed blades in different sizes. Um, you know, really like these LT Wright Patriots, uh, especially kind of the blade shape. Really reminds me a lot of the Shaman here. You can kind of tell just the downsized version of that kind of, I guess you would call spear point, leaf point. So, yeah. And again, this is one of my favorite knives. So, I do got some mods coming up for this guy, but you guys can see the resemblance, I'm sure, what I'm talking about in the blade shape. So, yeah, really dig it. Yeah. So that's why this little fixed blade, uh, this, you know, um, version in particular is my favorite. Uh, again, you got all these different varieties, thick, uh, thick scale, I mean, thick, uh, thick stock if you had to. Um, so yeah, so those are LT rights, Patriots. That's pretty much all I got for you guys. Um, you know, oh, one other thing. Uh, for those that stuck around 22 minutes in uh next week i'm gonna go ahead and do a entry i was waiting to get to 900 subs but it seems like it's going pretty slow so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and um, fast forward a little bit and i'm gonna put um this cjrb my leah up for giveaway um this will be knife number one and this is knife number two, the CJRB Crag. And what I'm gonna do is if you leave me a comment, those that stuck around to the end, um, let me know if I should give away knife number one or knife number two. Again, this is knife number one, this is knife number two. And in your comment, just put knife number one or knife number two and I'll go ahead and give you extra an extra drawing for when I do the drawing, which will be the week after or next week. So I'll put the entry video next week. And those that commented this week, I'll give you credit when when the giveaway actually starts. So again, this is knife number one, knife number two, and let me know. Those that stuck around and hear my spiel. So uh, I'll be giving those away a little earlier. And if I get to 900 subs, by the time I do the, the actual drawing video, I'll go ahead and give away both knives. So a little bit of incentive there. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all you guys tuning in. Um, and that's it. That's all I got for you guys. Check out the LT Wright Patriots at DLT Trading. Check out these little case knives that are pretty cool. There's a little camo lock back there pretty awesome i think it was about 20 bucks so check those out and for those of you that haven't haven't had mama's cooking yet uh go check him out too he's been doing the damn thing so go check out his channel and as always guys um thank you for tuning in um you know you want to come back for more knife stuff tell your friends tell family y'all know where to find me we're going to have fixed blades, we're going to have folders, knives, all kinds of stuff. And always, always do that. Carry your knives, people. Have a good one. Catch you guys on the flip side. Bam. Go get that cooking. Later. Have a good Memorial Day. Peace.